Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jeff the IT Guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at this case. So we've done um, a review of like the computer itself, you know, all the parts inside of it, like a build, you know, log or whatever. But I wanted to do a review dedicated to the case. Um, so this case wasn't sent to me or anything. I bought it for the build. But this is the Meshify Compact. This is not the Meshify 2. Um, but there are only a small couple differences between the Meshify uh, 2 and the original Meshify Compact. And so the big differences that you're going to find are on the top panel has a USB-C and the top panel here actually has a rail system that comes out so that you can put um, fans or a radiator on it. But this is an MATX case. Um, it is from Fractal's Meshify line, which means that it's focused on airflow. And so on the top, you know, you've got a spot for two uh, 120 or 140 millimeter fans. Um, so I'll lean this down for you. Um, you can see it's got an AIO in it right now. This is the Be Quiet Pure Loop. Um, but, you know, it's got a lot of some big holes up there. And then the front, of course, is mesh as well. And it has room for two 140 millimeters or three 120 millimeter fans. Um, this case is not, you know, focused towards RGB or anything. Um, but of course, you know, with this dark tempered glass side panel here, you can, of course, um, go ahead and put some RGB in here and it'll, you'll get, you know, a little bit of the lighting effect. So that's sort of the exterior. It's got a regular plain back panel on the other side. Um, this front panel, of course, comes off so that you have access to the fans. And then you've got this tempered glass window. This is a dark tint. It has four thumb screws that hold it into place. Um, and it covers, you know, the, the whole, the whole side. So it's not, <clears throat> you know, half or whatever, but it covers um, the entire front of the, or side of the case here, uh, which actually looks really good when it is lit up. Um, it's kind of, you know, got that sort of uh, dark, mysterious aesthetic to it instead of it just being clear and having the RGB bling bling everywhere. And so the panel just comes off. Um, it's got two little rubber things on the side to help um, with the mounting of it so that you don't crack it or anything. I'm gonna set that in the floor and hopefully I don't bust it. So we've got a pretty high-end system in here. Um, it's got a 5800X, 240 millimeter cooler. This is a Red Devil 6700 XT graphics card. Uh, you know, 16 gigs of RAM, whatever. So like I said, in the rear, you've got room for 120 um, or 140 millimeter fan. Top, you've got 120 or 140. Uh, you can do two of each. Uh, not the same time, of course. And in the front, like I said, three 120s or two 140s. Um, this graphics card is, is massive. It is 140, 247 millimeters, I believe, is how big it is, um, which is insane. It is a massive, massive uh, graphics card, which is pretty cool. It's got three fans. Um, I'm looking at the capabilities or the compatibility here. So with this, you can do MATX or Mini ITX. It supports an ATX power supply. Um, this has got like a, I think it's 265 millimeters uh, that you can do for the, uh, the graphics card. And so you can see right here, it's got this slim uh, fan in it. This is a soft. A slim fan. Uh, the graphics card, I believe the Red Devil is 200 and like I said, 247. And so you can fit up to, I believe it's 265 millimeters without a front fan. Um, and then with a front fan, it'll do 240. And that's with it touching. Um, and this one has like two or three millimeters of clearance between the GPU and the front fan. So this is going to be one of the, the larger cards um, that you can fit in here, a large three fan uh, card. Um, of course, if you do this, you're not going to be able to put a radiator in the front or anything. You'll have to put it in the top. And so, like I said, it, it can support um, a 240 or 280 millimeter AIO in the top. And you've actually got a little bit of extra room 
um, to help lift it up above the motherboard and it offsets it as well. So it is offset to the side to give you clearance. So as you can see right here, um, instead of it being all the way back, it's offset to the front actually. We'll call it the front, the front of what we're looking at. Um, you've got this shroud down here. And one thing about the shroud is it actually has a, a little panel right here that can lift out. You can remove this panel, remove the hard drive cage, and you can put a 360 millimeter AIO or water cooler or whatever you want in the front, a radiator. Um, so you can do a 360 millimeter radiator. You take this out and you'll have access and you can actually do um, push pull on it if you wanted to, but keep in mind you are gonna be limited to the length of the graphics card. Um, so if you've got 265 millimeters of space and you've got a 40 mil thick rad and then 225 mil thick fans, um, you're going to be down to, you know, a hundred and we'll say like 170, 170 mil long graphics card that you can use. Uh, so keep that in mind if you buy this case. Um, this case does fit large air coolers as well. Um, so this is the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. This is a pretty tall, you know, tower heat sink. It's pretty big as you can see. Um, I'll put a picture of it hopefully up in the video and you can see what it looked like with this massive cooler in there. But um, you had about two mils between the graphics card and the cooler and it's, it, it was just massive, but it does fit the side panel closes and everything. So you do have plenty of room there. So let's turn this around and we'll look at the back. That's pretty much the compatibility here in the front. Um, so realistically, I mean, you're not gonna be able to put SLI or Crossfire in here, which they're pretty much both dead. Um, so keep that in mind. You've got one, two, three, four, five expansion slots. Um, it doesn't support vertical mounting or anything. You know, this is a pretty relatively cheap case, but it does have quite good airflow and it looks really good as well. So here's the rear panel. You can see there's more mesh here. Um, MATX board, it's got the, you know, the Zaku 2 Xeon motherboard B550 from ASUS, which is a pretty cool board. I'm gonna show you the rear um, or the other side, I guess. This is not my finest work when it comes to cable management. I'm not very good at cable management anyways. Um, but if I was, uh, it would look a lot better than this, but I'm not, so that's okay. Um, that's just not one of my skill sets. I did my best. I didn't really put a whole lot of time into it. But here um, in the bottom, here in the front, you do have room for two uh, 3.5 inch hard drives. So that's gonna be your standard spinning hard drive. You've got room for two. PSU length, I believe is 200 millimeters max that you can use. Um, you will want to use a modular power supply. Make sure you connect your cables before before you put it in, um, unless you've got really small hands, because it's gonna be really tough. You've got a lot of tie down points, as you can see here on the rear panel. You've got a really big cutout for the motherboard back plate, which if you take this off, you have access to it. And this right here is actually so that you can put um, three, three two and a half inch SSDs, uh, which is really cool. You can put three of those back here. So that will give you a total of, of five drives, so three for the two and a half inch, two for the three and a half inch, three and a half inch. Um, so it's a total of five drives. You can take this off, you have access to the back plate here. So if you ever wanted to change the cooler or add a cooler or anything like that, um, you just remove this and you can have access to it, which makes it really simple for upgrading this system, um, which is pretty cool. So when it comes to cooling, um, this thing does really well. Now I want you to remember that this has a 6700 XT with three fans and a 5800 X in it. And that is a lot of hardware to pack into this small, small case. Um, but it does cool really, really well. Keeping the, you know, the graphics card in the low 60s, the CPU in the low 60s as well. Um, like I said, you're, your massive big black coolers, um, like the Be Quiet or the Noctua D15 Chromax, um, you know, they'll fit in here. I would check on the D15, it's pretty close in size, but it does have, on the D15, it's got some points that poke up here. So you wanna check 
um, your compatibility for that with your uh, air cooler is going to be 169 millimeters. And I believe the Nocto is 170 or 175. So it probably won't work, but your Dark Rock Pro 4 will. And if you haven't had a chance, go watch my video that I did between the Dark Rock Pro 4 and the Nocto D15, and you'll see if they're really comparable in performance. And so like I said, this is a lot, a lot of hardware. In this case, the case is fairly easy to work on or work in. Um, just make sure that you put like the motherboard and stuff together before you put it in and be prepared. Um, you don't want to start having to take things out uh, because it can get tricky at that point. But back to performance, like I said, with thermals and everything, you know, you're looking at low 60s on this graphic card. You're looking at low 60s on the 5800X. That's with PBO enabled, uh, which is performance boost overdrive, whatever they call it. AMD thing to get the most performance, you know, looking at like 4.7 gigahertz all core uh, for the 5800X with the Red Devil, you know, it's hitting like 2700 megahertz on it, just going full bore. Now, remember with all of this mesh on here with the top, the front, the back, you're going to be able to hear fans. Um, that's just the way it is. There's not a whole lot of anything here to really dampen the sound. So you're going to hear a lot of fan noise. Um, so I would recommend buying some really high quality fans, like some Noctuas, some Be Quiets. Um, the ones in here, except for on the cooler, there's a Fractal. So this is Fractal, this one's Fractal. These are the Be Quiet ones that came with the AIO, and this front one here is a Scythe. Um, so just keep that in mind. You will want to get some high quality fans in here if you don't like fan noise, because you want a lot of air moving um, to keep these components cool. And so, it's going to mean a lot of concentrated heat in here. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, though, this is a great case and it's not expensive. It's $89, I believe, $90, something like that. And so if you've got 90 bucks and you're looking to upgrade an MATX or build an MATX PC, you know, maybe you're building an APU with a 5700G or something, um, this is going to be great for that. It's going to be perfect for that MATX build if you don't have a whole lot of room. Uh, it's really nice and compact, but it's got some really great features. It looks great. It'll be linked in the description with all the other parts. Listen, I want to thank you all for watching. It's been a lot of fun. I love doing case reviews. Um, I love cases. I love looking at cases and all of that stuff. And I love cooling. And like I said, you know, your big black coolers, they'll fit in here. Your 240 mil, 280 mil air coolers will fit in here. Um, you know, you can do a lot of stuff in this. And of course, it's got that really sexy tempered glass window. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We've got some cool stuff coming up here on the channel. We're gonna build like a small server. Um, we're gonna look at some coolers and fans and things of that nature. And I think you're really gonna dig the content. Uh, I hope y'all are having great out there. Hope you had you know, a happy Thanksgiving, all of that stuff. Uh, good luck with all the cyber, cyber Week deals and all that stuff. Hope you had good luck with it. So go ahead and subscribe. You don't wanna miss what's coming up. Um, you know, buy some swag if you want to. I lowered the prices and redid some of the uh, designs on them. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this case. Uh, you know, what you think could have been done differently about it. Listen, y'all have a great time. I'll talk to you later. Keep it real.